I hate videos. Now you may be wondering, if I hate videos, what the heck am I doing here? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you are in the world today. Happy Friday. It is June 10th and I'm so, so, so excited to be able to welcome a friend of mine. Um, I'm sure you, many of you who have watched my live shows have at least had one encounter with her. She's amazing. Um, but before I go to that, just want to say welcome to everyone and thank you to our wonderful sponsors. Um, thank you, Kindness Inspired. We are so proud to be associated with a brand that inspires kindness all over the world. Um, it is just such a privilege and an honor and know that we love and appreciate you. So thank you for that. And then thank you to you, Island Spices. Everybody loves food, right? <laughs> well, Island Spices, they make the most delicious island food. And if you are in Toronto, let me know and I can hook you up with their contact details so you can have a taste and never go back to anything else. <laughs> so thank you to you. And hello, if you and I have not met yet, please know my name is Inga and I am recognized as a networking ninja. I'm hired by entrepreneurs to help them develop a LinkedIn strategy so they can stand out and connect with their ideal community. Many people have no idea where to begin when it comes to networking, especially online. I'm there to hold their hand and guide them through the learning curve so that they can help, they, they can be helped to navigate this space that is so unknown to them. So if you need help with this, please reach out to me and let's let's talk. Maybe I can help you. Um, let me say this. If you're watching live, Please drop a comment and let me and my guests know where you're tuning in from. And if you're on YouTube and I can't see your name properly, please let me know so that I'm aware of who I'm speaking to. Um, it's my privilege and honor, without further ado, to welcome my wonderful friend. Hello to you, Katie. Hi, everybody. Hi, Inger. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. Welcome, welcome. Um, it's. I feel like I'm inviting you into my living room. Um, but welcome. Thank you for being here. And uh, would you please introduce yourself? I can. I think I can do that. Hi, everybody. I'm Katie McDermott. Uh, first of all, I am God's servant. I am a wife and a mother of three. I am known as the manufacturing hype girl, and I connect buyers and sellers in the industrial world. I'm a supporter of U.S. manufacturing, and if any of you are in the manufacturing industry or support the manufacturing industry, we should be in touch. Oh, I love that. I love that. Um, when you and I met a few months ago, um, I didn't know you as the manufacturing hype girl, but you definitely live up to that name. <laughs> I try. <laughs> you definitely do. Um, so, Katie, we have some people that have already started tuning in. So let us acknowledge them, please. Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Marcello is here and he says, let's go. Hello, Marcello. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know where you are, please. Um, I'd love to just, just hear because what I like is that 
I, there are so many people from all over. Um, and it's just truly like a net has been cast over the world. So I love that. Um, Whitney says she's so excited. Hi, Whitney. And look who's here. Hi, Megan. Oh, my goodness. Now I'm really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe I shouldn't have shown you, but thank you for being here, Megan. Let us know where you're tuning in from, please. Lovely to see you. And hello to you, Valerie. Oh, Val. Hi, Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being here. Dorothy. I love Dorothy. <laughs> Hello, Dorothy. Like, love very much. Thank so. you. Thank you for being here, Dorothy. I know the two of you connected after she was on my show. So mm -hmm. it's awesome to see that. And here's another friend. Hello, David. <sighs> oh, can we put gifts in the comments? Because David's <laughs> got to do it. I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> Lovely to see you. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, bummer. Hello, Gail. She says, oh, yes. Shout out to Angela Thurman, Erin Carroll, and Christina Harrington. Yeah. Some awesome powerhouses in the manufacturing mm. industry. So thank you for tagging them. Hi, Gail. Gail. And I love to see some wonderful networking in the comments. So people are saying hello. And look. Hello. John. Hi, John. Hello, John. Thank you for being here. Lovely to see you. Oh, my gosh. Alden says, thank you for this, Coach. Alden is um, the CEO of H2HB, which is Heart to Heart Business, the nonprofit organization that I'm part of. So oh. lovely to see you. Thank you, Alden, for tuning in. And John says... He is tuning in from sunny New Jersey. Yeah, I believe you because I'm in Toronto and it's so sunny. I had to close my curtain. <laughs> oh, man. That's sunny, yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. I lost my place because there's so many messages coming in. Um, David says, I think, actually, Katie, I might need your help to read some of these comments. because He's in Michigan. <laughs> Yes, there's a lot. So thank you for tuning in from Michigan. Oh, <gasps> Kate Irwin. Oh, I'm so happy she came. Hi, Kate. I love Kate. You guys got to know her. She's fantastic. Hello, Kate. Awesome. Nice to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Whitney from Katy, Texas. Thank you, Whitney, for being here as well. Lovely to see you. Awesome. Um, awesome connection to have. So if you're not connected to Whitney, please do that. Um, Gail, oh my word, Gail is a manufacturing <laughs> marketing powerhouse. Um, she says, I'm all about making manufacturing more fun. Yes. And she says, and Katie is a poster child for that. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Gail. And That's awesome. Yeah. And then John is like, yeah, you're the manufacturing hype girl, all right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Listen, John says, uh, good morning, Whitney. Shouldn't you be offline? <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, my gosh. And then Gail tagged um, USA Manufacturing Hour Twitter chat. And Dan and Baker. Dan Baker. Dan, was, I hope he comes. And then I have a LinkedIn user. I need to check who it is. Um, it says they're tuning in from Florida. So now, sorry, I want to see who it is because I want to know who it is too. I'd love to say hello. So um, just going to use my phone to do that. Sorry. You <laughs> uh no, and I can't see the comments. Oh, my word. <laughs> I can't see it because um, I was I was tuned into another show before I, on my phone. So I'm going to go to my laptop because I really need to know. I'm sorry, Katie. <laughs> That's okay. I want to know who's in Florida, too. I have a contact or a friend, a previous colleague, co-worker, whatever you're going to call them in Florida, and I wonder if it's her. 
Uh, so that would be Susan Curie. I don't know if she's here. Maybe that's okay. her. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, oh, again, because I've been, I was on something else. And we'll let you do it. No. Well, whoever's in Florida, you gotta let us know. <laughs> yes, please let us know who, who, like your name and where, where you're tuning in from if you haven't already. And I love to see some. Look at this. Oh, <gasps> M and I is here in the house. Whoop whoop! Hi, everybody. Nice to see that. Thank you. Thank you for supporting, Katie. Uh, Dorothy's talking to you, I think. Hi, Dorothy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Megan is telling us where she's tuning in from. Could you go ahead and read that, please? Oh, she's located in the Midwest. She's right on the border of Wisconsin and Illinois. And she said she'd love to connect and don't be nervous. I'm amazing. You're amazing, Megan. <laughs> oh, Megan's fantastic. She's... Um, Manuf the Mavens of Manufacturing, I love that. And that's what she's in that. She does that. She runs it. She's the girl. Yes, she is. And Marcello is letting us know that he's tuning in from Atlanta, Georgia. Nice to see. Thank you. Oh, listen. Gail says, based in Canada, but connecting globally. Yes. Yes. That's the way to do it. Okay. Gail's right. Gail wins. <laughs> Oh my gosh. John says, we have all stars on screen and in the comments. Wow. Yes, I feel like this show is going to run away. Look, it's already 12 minutes in and this is where we're at. <laughs> oh, Will Taylor. Oh, he is the partnership guru. I adore Will. I love so many people and Will's definitely on the top. So nice. great. Thanks for coming, Will. Yes, thank you for being here. Love it, love it. Um, oh my gosh, I'm going to go through quickly. I just want to um, acknowledge some unique comments. Gail says, it's very sunny out there, sitting outside, and needed this boost of energy today. Let's go, David says. Oh my gosh. Hiya. <laughs> Please, LinkedIn user, let us know. Let us know who you are. I think... Actually, I think this LinkedIn user is a different one. And this, I believe, is my friend Robert Johnson. And he's amazing. Um, he's the person that helped me get started on LinkedIn. So um, awesome. shout out to you, Robert. Thank you for being here. Lovely to see you. And Kate says, yes, I'm here. It's early, but I'm here. Thanks for making it, sunshine. Um, where, where is Kate? She is, I believe, in New York. Okay. Believe New York. I may be right. Okay. <laughs> the queen of gifts. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, is that on, uh, on Twitter that you're the queen of gifts? Yeah, on the USA Manufacturing Hour Twitter chat, I started with just, I didn't know what I was doing on the Twitter chat. It's really hard to figure out how to do a Twitter chat. So I just kept applying gifts to everything I said because I thought it was fun. And it's fun. It's to it it's so fun. fun. And that's all I do now. Every answer has a gift. <laughs> it is fun. I actually, I do that too. Um, when I'm in a Twitter chat, I will answer the question and then I'll also add a gift that's pertaining to the to the answer. I, I used to be like on a rotation, like I love Mr. Bean gifts and I love um, anything that is um, Will Ferrell, but then I got stuck on the WWE gifts because they're <laughs> just great. <laughs> so I know I'm always posting WWE gifts for sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, Dan says he forgot about this. Thanks for the reminder, Gail. Thank you, Gail, for tagging him in. Hi, Dan. Marcello says he's happy to see us. Um, so thank you and love. Oh my gosh. Someone says the two of you are solid gold. LinkedIn user, tell us who are you? <laughs> Reveal <laughs> yourself. <laughs> And hello, Dan Bigger. Thank you for tuning in. Love to see you here. Um, you are amazing and you're doing awesome things. I actually, uh, I pledged to myself this week that I would be visiting the um, USA Manufacturing Hour yesterday and then it was canceled. So. Yeah. Did you <laughs> so see my I'm reel not... yesterday? I did a reels about it. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got to see. It's pretty funny. Yeah. I, I didn't know that it was canceled and I'm like, 
I'm going to talk about it. Who's hosting? What's the topic? And I'm looking all over everybody's pages and I can't find it. And I looked on Twitter and it said, I'm taking a break today. <laughs> I, I'm i hardly ever on Instagram. So when I go, I catch up on your reels um, a few <laughs> at a time, actually. So, oh my gosh. Love to see this. And we have someone. <gasps> Scott, that's my boss. Hi, Scott. <laughs> Now I'm really nervous. Oh, All of a sudden, geez. I just got real hot. <laughs> Hello, Scott. Thank you for tuning in. Lovely to see you and to see how you are supporting Katie. That's beautiful. Um, oh, my gosh. I think, yes, I think Valerie is right. There is a USA Manufacturing Hour reunion happening in the comments. <laughs> but it's awesome. Here we go. Uh Hi there, it's me from, from Florida. My name is Dr. Joan, and I'm a learning developer and creator of Hispanas and LMD. Thank you for tuning in, Dr. Joan. Yes. Um, and I don't, I'm not certain that I'm connected to you. If we're not, please connect with me. I'd love to, um, ooh. Okay, you betcha. <laughs> nice. Um, and then, yes, I love that. Kate says she's in uh, Syracuse, New York, and look what Dan said. He always tells me this. All the time he tells me, just be you. Don't. Yes. Everyone else pretend. is taking. Right? Yes. Thanks, Everyone Dan. Else is taking. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. And Marcella would like an invite to the Twitter chat. Well, um, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, let's connect on Twitter. Actually, Marcello, um, we can definitely. I will I, this week. I'm coming. It's in my calendar, so I'll I never miss it. With I just never miss it. And if, <laughs> even if I'm busy and have to do something else, I have it going in the background because yeah, yeah, I can't miss it. It's so fun. But there's a recap afterwards every week too. So that's nice. And everybody is uh, acknowledging your WWE gifts. So. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Awesome. Now we can get to the topic. <laughs> okay. So if you watched my intro video, you would have seen um, that I, 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 I highlight certain words that are my pillar words, um, the words upon the words or the concepts upon which my life is based. And one of those words that is in there is not very well known to the Western world, and that is Ubuntu. Um, I feel like I should put this up so people know um, how to say it. So I'm going to say it. I'm going to write it phonetically so, so that people understand how to say it. Well, I told you last week you should hear somebody from Wisconsin say it, and I say Ubuntu. And I don't know if that's right or it sounds fine to me. Ubuntu. So it's Ubuntu. Ubuntu. And so if you haven't come across this word, I'm going to display it for you on screen so you understand it. Ubuntu is an ancient African word and it means humanity to others. It is often described as reminding us that I am am what I am because of who we all are. And the reason why it's one of my pillar words is because I, I, I honestly believe it wholeheartedly. I believe that I wouldn't be this person that I am today if I hadn't met you, Katie, if I hadn't met Gail, if I hadn't met Dan or John um, or Robert, I wouldn't be this version of myself. So, I believe in Ubuntu wholeheartedly and networking is very similar to Ubuntu and it's the action of, or process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop professional or social contacts. That's what networking is. And if you missed our three day video challenge last week, boy, oh boy, did you miss out. That was <laughs> because fun. It was fun. Um, and I totally, you know, I understand, you know, some people had challenges in, in getting started and doing that.
taking up the challenge. But those who did and those who um, supported one another, which is what we wanted, you guys reap the benefits of it. Because now, look, Marcello is in the comments. And we weren't, I was connected to him, but him and I didn't really interact much. We, you know, so he's here supporting you and I because he met both of us through this challenge and he got to know us. So thank you, Marcello. Shout out to you and shout out to everybody that participated in the three days of video with Inger and Sri. And for those of you that are suffering from FOMO, I will say that Sri and I had a conversation yesterday and we're going to do it again. So buckle up. <laughs> Oh, I'm and, so excited. And also, um, if you did the challenge and you'd like to do it again, that's fine too, because we're going to switch it up. Um, we'll switch it up. It won't be the same as the last time. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Very fun. Yes, it was a lot of fun. Um, and you know what? The For me, I feel is most important is the support and the community that we we had right like because we supported one another i mean i did the challenge too even though i was guiding the challenge i also did the challenge because we all have issues with looking at ourselves on screen yeah right <laughs> yeah um but anyway this show is not about the challenge let's talk about you katie I'm so I'm so excited to learn a bit more about you. So, since this show is about ta-da inspiration from Inga, can you tell us, Katie, what inspires you? I am really inspired by the success of others. Like it really fires me up to support others in what they're doing. I'm a huge supporter of U.S. manufacturing and anybody who is in it, obviously. And I just love to see people succeed and to try new things and, you know, to learn along the way. I love supporting women in manufacturing, um, reshoring. There's just so much that I'm really passionate about and I'm inspired by the people who are already doing it, like Megan, Gail, you, you know, the people, Dan Bigger, John Bublino. I mean, the, the list is miles long. You guys all inspire me so much and to try new things and to do new things. But manufacturing in general is just the fire. <laughs> I just love it. It's so fun. That's awesome. Um, thank you. Uh, you know, Gail will tell you, I kind of, I, I, I don't know, I kind of like feel like, oh, uh, do I really belong in manufacturing? Like, <laughs> but you know what? Like, it's so fun. And something that you actually pointed out to me um, in our first conversation that we had was that manufacturing really touches all our lives. Right? Yeah, that is what is so fun for me about it is that manufacturing is everywhere. Everywhere you look, manufacturing is involved. Mm -hmm. um, when my husband and I go on road trips, I can see on the side, you know, driving along the semi that have loads of these things that we're just moving from place to place. Mm -hmm. The factories that I drive by, the things that I see sitting on their docks, it's just Manufacturing is everywhere. And not only are these manufacturers supporting the companies or the, the communities that, that they're in by employing people and community events and whatever, but then mm -hmm. consider also the supporting businesses as well. So companies like MSC or Granger or, you know, like that um, Fastenal safety equipment, like all these types of businesses that support the manufacturing industry. So the manufacturing mm -hmm. industry is also supporting those companies, those employees, those communities. It just reaches everywhere and touches everyone. And yeah, you guys just got to be more involved in the manufacturing industry. And even if you're not interested in how things are made and fasteners and plastic injection molding or things like that, if you're not interested in that, recognize that manufacturing also needs Accountants, marketing professionals, salespeople, maintenance people, office cleaners. Like it's 
the opportunities are endless. So again, if you're in the manufacturing industry or you support the manufacturing industry, we got to be in touch. Awesome. I love that. Um, thank you. And then <laughs> when you were growing up, Katie, um, who was your role model? And can you tell us about them and why they inspired you? Yeah, I was just talking about this yesterday and actually it brought me to tears thinking about it. So if I cry, don't That's look, I'll just cover my face. <laughs> Growing up, definitely, I looked up to my dad. My dad was a very strong um, man, husband, father, leader of our household, always looked up to him. Um, I love my mom, I adore her. She's passed away now, but she was also fantastic. But the person that probably stands out for me most and as a girl growing up is my sister, Terry. Oh, see, now I'm going to get a little bit sad <laughs> or a little bit emotional here. Um, she's okay. my the, the oldest of us. We There's five of us kids. She's the oldest of us. And uh, my mom struggled with her health a lot. So she really took care of us. And um, she... There's just, I mean, it's there's so much she did, but she's strong and she's independent. Her work ethic is top notch. I always looked up to her for her strength and her ability. So growing up, definitely, I would say my sister probably had the strongest impact on my life. As an adult, though, I will tell you honestly, I think my husband really is who I look up to now. He is an incredible person, and. Um, such a strong servant of God, faithful servant. And I love that. So I follow him too. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love my people. I just do. Yes. Um, <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm just looking at the comments. They just keeps going and going, but <laughs> I have one question and then we'll go to the comments. Um, so for me, I believe that you know, life is about making an impact. And my life statement is to positively impact the lives of others. What's yours? To serve God's people, to serve all people, just to serve in any way I can, whether it be as um, an employee, as a colleague, as a woman, as a mm. sister, as a mother, as a wife, as a neighbor girl. I love my neighborhood. I help out in my neighborhood. We have um, an elderly gentleman in our neighborhood who I do tech support for him. And then he pays me back in groceries sometimes, <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, I just love to serve people to help where I can help find where there is a need and fill it. Beautiful. I love that. And I think that's probably what drew me to you. Just your amazing love for people. Um, because that's who I am and that's we, you know, what's in my heart too. Oh my word. Okay, let's go to the comments. Oh my gosh. Uh, I can't uh, see them. I can't see the comments. No. So when you put them up on the screen, I'm just as surprised as everybody else. The thing is, um, <laughs> I see the number go up. That's why. So I want to go back to where we stopped. Um, here we go. Whitney says, Julie Bissello knocks out the Twitter chat recap so fast. Oh, yeah, she does. Nice. And here someone says, hello, I'm Kenza. And if you ever need graphic design or website design, um, she'd be pleased to help you. So hi, Kenza. Very nice. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> John, <laughs> are you learning? <laughs> Are you learning? Are you learning? Because John is going to be my guest soon. Um, I'm going to test you when you come on. <laughs> I can't wait for that. <laughs> and he says, the three-day video challenge was awesome. I met so many incredible people, learned about them, and grew my network with absolute rock stars. I love I was that. surprised I learned more about Whitney when she had posted some videos and I was really, like, I loved her to begin with. I was totally impressed to begin with. But yeah. I learned a lot about Whitney as a person through the videos, too. So that was fun. Yes. She says, she says, the video challenge was awesome. So much fun. Great to connect with John Beglino, Marcello, Shri, Tim, and so many more. 
Awesome. I love that um, because, you know, I'm all about community and that is just, wow. I love it. Oh, <laughs> what this is. Yes. Totally ready for another challenge. I got to meet with Sri for this for lunch this week. Yeah, she did. Oh, how fun. <laughs> and hello to you, Raven from South Africa. Love to see you here. Um, Raven is my niece. So thank you, Raven, for being She's here. She's here every week. Hi, Raven. Yes. Um, and if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm going to prompt you now. My YouTube channel is called Inspiration from Inga. Um, if you can't find it, please um, send me a note and I'll send you the link. Um, and the way the reason why raven actually is all because she's subscribed to my youtube channel and she rang the bell so every time i go live she gets notified so that's why but thank you raven for being here and marcello says yes last week was amazing and hello to you <gasps> dale dupree oh i think my heart just fell to the floor dale <laughs> dupree is Everybody probably knows him. I might just be saying things everybody else already knows, but Dale Dupree is incredible. When I first came back onto LinkedIn after having been gone forever, thinking it was just a resume place and a salesman's, you know, whatever, I didn't like it. And I came back in February of 2012 and I started following Dale. And I realized from Dale that I am a rebel and everybody needs to be part of his rebellion. He is flipping the script on all sales processes and is all about personalization. He's just, he's fantastic. And he's so, he's God's servant as well. A very oh. happy and proud servant of God. And I follow him, all of his stuff. He's great. Thanks for coming, Dale. I'm so excited you're here. Thank you for tuning in, Dale. Um, I don't believe you and I are connected. So let's connect, please. Um, lovely to see so many people here to support you, Katie. I love it. Um, it's about community. It just, it warms my heart, really. And Marcello is giving us some, <laughs> some hashtags. Oh, my word. Good. Thank you, Marcello. Um, and hello. Good morning to Hi, Tim. you. Hearts, 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 hearts. Oh, okay. If you don't know, Tim said he's this goat, and Katie named my goat Gertie. <laughs> so, I hello. love it. Hello Hi, Tim. <laughs> and he says, shout out to Puffs. Tim always says that when people get emotional. So, shout oh. out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Oh, my gosh. And lovely to see all the, oh, my word. Yeah, Gail is giving us, uh, would you like to read it, Katie, actually? Uh, manufacturing needs fresh eyes, too. As a recovering journalist, I see so many stories. So, yes, manufacturers need your talents and insights. Inger, yeah, they do. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, she, <laughs> she always tells me, yes, you are part of manufacturing. Because because I work with Gail, and Gail works with um, in the manufacturing industry. And I... Like since then, since I used to say that, I have worked with people in the manufacturing industry. And um, yes, you guys are so, so fun too. I mean, how can I not? I know. Manufacturing is way more fun than any other industry that I've been in anyway. So yeah, <laughs> it's a blast. Um, have you worked in construction? <laughs> I think Robert Johnson would disagree with you there. <laughs> He's in the construction industry, but um mm. I used to work in the in the construction industry and it was it was a lot of fun too. I love to see some awesome networking happening in the comments. And Dale has a comment for you. Go ahead and read it. Uh, thank you for showing your emotion. There is power in your vulnerability. Yes. Well, yes. something that you don't know about me is that I will cry in any situation. <laughs> if it's funny, if I'm tired, if I'm hot or hungry or sad or overwhelmed <laughs> or angry, <laughs> I just cry. It's my go-to emotion. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm also, I'm a very emotional person. And I was just going to tell you, don't worry if you're going to cry because this show has seen so many tears. I've yeah. cried. I've cried quite I've a few I've cried times. in the I'm comments. Sure you've seen me cry on this show. Yeah. 
Um, and Tim says, radiating Being real. real. Yes. And Marcello says, serve God's people. I love that. <laughs> Marcello says, cookies as payment. No. <laughs> no, thanks. Coffee? I'll take coffee as payment. <laughs> I don't need any more cookies. It's good. Dan says, amen, Katie. Keep helping. Thanks, Dan. Oh, my gosh. John says, we'll need three hours to get through. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh oh, Tim, no. <laughs> wow. Well, oh it's come close before. <laughs> yeah. I um I did it. I did I did three hour show. I've done a three hour show already. Um nice. but that was like a holiday special. And uh <laughs> yeah, I need sustenance. <laughs> Right? Tim yeah. says, yes, the video challenge was totally awesome. Oh my gosh. Thank you. He says, here's the link for Thanks, my YouTube Tim. channel. Thank you, Tim. You're so sweet. Yes, there's nothing wrong with us. <laughs> Not a thing. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now we can talk about networking. Katie, um, what's your take on networking? What do you like? How do you approach it? Well, having jumped back into Facebook or um, LinkedIn in 2012 or 2021, sorry, I'm bad with numbers too. In 2021, when I jumped back into into LinkedIn, I found Dale. I said Dale Dupree, and Dale's whole thing is about just flipping the script and not being the typical salesperson. So mm -hmm. I learned a lot from him, and then I think I took my networking. To that level i instead of doing you know he's all about like you know making the cold call sending the sending the mail to your prospects you know things like that and then i thought well i can take my networking to that level as well and be a little bit more personable so i started with um building my personal brand i did the brand brand 30 brand 300 something like that um i did that that was fantastic and i built my personal brand and then from there what i have just done is i have really called my feed i make sure that those that i connect with are um in the manufacturing industry in some form or maybe in the SaaS as well you know just to make sure that i'm working with with my own colleagues and i'm getting the information and reading the feed of people that are in my area so networking is definitely a way for me to reach out and meet people and connect with people on a more meaningful level but it also is strategic so i never sell to my network but if somebody wants to work with m and i i'll happy to introduce them to one of my colleagues. Um, but yeah, my network is just for me to gain the insights of my audience, to absorb everything and learn from them and put some more and put some more information out that's valuable and relevant to the industries that I work in. I love it. <laughs> um, let me, I'll post a, just a, um, a quote that often makes me think of John Buglino, actually. Yeah, so I was thinking about that this morning, too. Yeah. yeah. Networking is more about farming than it is about hunting. It's about con cultivating relationships. That's by Dr. Ivan Messner. But um, John Buglino, if anybody is watching and they're not connected to John Buglino, you should. He believes in hunt the relationships. So it's so important, right? Like we need to really approach um, connecting with people in a different way. I mean, how many of you that are watching live right now get pitch slapped in the DMs? That is like my pet peeve. <laughs> Either that or I get marriage proposals from time right? to time as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I actually um, just recently... I received a message from a gentleman and he said, and I had spoken, um, I commented on someone's post and I spoke about my three daughters because I have three, I have three daughters. And you know what he said to me? He sent me a DM and he said, your, you and your three daughters are mine anger. Like what? That's a little weird. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, should I be scared right now? 
right? That's Says who? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but that's, yeah, it's crazy. Um, you know, I believe that regardless of who I am as a person, um, the people that I connect with are meant to be there and I'm meant to learn something from them. Um, and even if we don't really like, you know, really dive too deeply into friendship, there's a reason there's something that I should be learning. Um, and, you know, if it wasn't for for our friend Russ Hedge, I wouldn't be on live stream. Not, not just Russ. There are other people, too, that inspired me to do this. But if it was, he said, he said something that was so crazy to me. I remember being on his show. Um, and after he interviewed me, he said, um, we were chatting. And I smiled at him and he said, have you ever thought of having your own show? And I thought he was insane. <laughs> right? But he said, um, you know, I would really, I would do well if I had my own show. And I thought, what? Nope. And look at you now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I am i can't wait to see what, you know, what we can inspire within each other, right? Um, so you say that... Um, can you tell me how networking has impacted you? The relationships and the connections I've made have led to relationships that will last a lifetime. You and Dorothy, for example, and um, Kate Irwin and Maggie Bloom, like these, I have friends now. I have friends here on LinkedIn. I have friends yes. outside of LinkedIn. They have no idea what I do. <laughs> but I have friends here. I, I just can't even I can't even express how how grateful I am for all the connections that I have, everything I've learned, and the relationships that I built. I really have just built a community of people that support me, and I have built a community of people that support the manufacturing industry, which is what I want to do. I mean, it's just it was it was the key. I, honestly, it was the key to open the door of opportunities galore. I love it. Um, and it's quite evident that you have built a community. Um, if you look at the, the support that you're getting right now, which is beautiful. It's beautiful to see. Um, and I think- I have to go back and look proud. at all the comments. <laughs> you should be proud. It's, it's, um, it's part of your legacy, right? It's part of your legacy that you're building, so. Um, I have a little post-it note on my laptop that, or on my monitor that says, and this is probably from Dale Dupree as well, so heads up. It says, what is the legacy you are going to leave? What are people going to say about you when you are gone? Yes. Oh, my word. I've just actually been thinking about that um, recently. And I, because, you know, a lot of the time we, we live people live as if they're going to live forever. Yeah, no. And that, that, that shouldn't even be the goal. Who wants to live forever? I have plans. <laughs> this world is not my home. I'm just passing through. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, so can you tell people a little bit about how you leverage this platform, um, LinkedIn or networking groups? Like, what do you do? I want... Um, I'm you want me to tell <laughs> you want me to tell everybody what I do on Monday mornings, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Um, what Inger is talking about is when I am on top of everything, and when I when I when everything is running smoothly, my goal is every Monday morning I go on and send a private video with my cell phone, just record myself on my cell phone to all my new connections. Any connection that I made the week before just gets a video from me. This is who I am. This is what I do. I look. Thanks for joining my network and my community. I look forward to learning from you because I read everybody's posts. I want to learn. Again, remember, I'm pretty strategic on who I accept into my community, into my network, and I want to learn from everybody. So that is the way that I do it. And again, I'm just really strategic on who I have in my community. I don't want to learn about things that I don't have any part in. I don't want to muddy those waters for those industries and communities that I don't need to be a part of. I love that um, because 
a lot of people on on LinkedIn and all social media platforms, they chase vanity metrics, right? Yeah, I don't even know what metrics to follow. And it's actually a question I have on my running list of questions I wanna ask people. I don't even know what metrics to to count, to look at, I have no idea. Um, honestly though, like, you know, when you, if you speak to somebody that has maxed out on their connections, you can max out. Yes. There's a number. Would you like to know it? Yeah, I'd like to know. <laughs> 30,000. 30,000 wow. connections. Now, just think. Can you even know 30,000 people? Like, really? <laughs> Not know them. Oh. I can be connections with them, but I can't know them. And, and can you, like, just even think of sending a message to a hundred people in one day. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. And chasing those vanity metrics, it's, it's empty. It's empty. I rather connect with people that, you know, are my people, my tribe, the people that I can connect heart to heart with. Right. Mm -hmm. um, because that way we can build each other up. Um, it's always been my my vision to if I you know when you um, think about the Olympics or some like something else where people compete against each other my vision is if I'm the person that's going to be in the place of number one I'm going to take the hands of the others and pull them up to be on that part with me yeah. because I could never get to where I am or to get to where I need to be to really reach my potential without the others that have walked alongside me in this life, right? Um, so, yeah, vanity matrix. I'm no, I'm over them, really. You yeah, know? me neither. I'm, yeah, I, I don't yeah, care I about the views. I don't care about the comments. I don't care about the likes. You know, like some of my posts have reached thousands of people, and then others have reached only a few. But it's not about the quantity. Yep, quality. Yeah, quality, quality and relevance. Yes, yes. Um, okay, so we've made it. We have a few uh, comments that I'd like to acknowledge, and then we can um, you can wrap up and just say like you know what your final thoughts are. So let's go to the comments. There are some wonderful people that have joined us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm laughing because I actually saw a few of them as I'm scrolling. Okay. So, um, oh, thank you, Whitney. She says she subscribed to my channel. Appreciate that. Thank you. And John is giving us his hunt relationships. hashtag hunt relationships. And she hunting doesn't um, insinuate that they just come to you. You didn't no. set a trap and they're coming to you. Hunting means you are strategically searching for relationships that you can have with people that are valuable to both yes. of you. Cultivating, right? So Julie says, great quote. Thank you, Julie. Hi, Julie. And Whitney says, Katie got Welker on Industry Net and we have gotten several RFQs in, in such a short period of time. Um, their support is amazing. Oh, that's awesome. I'd love to see that. Thanks, Whitney. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hello, Angela. Angela is just one of those people that's just, yeah, right here. A fine line between fan and stalker. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I know. Um, oh, yeah. Well, you can imagine what I did <laughs> when I got that message. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So change uh, <laughs> name, witness protection. Right? And the thing is, um, there are many, I get many crazy messages, and very seldom do I block people, but yeah, that one, yeah, he was blocked. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And Julie is agreeing with Angela. Oh my gosh. Oh, Dan says, wow, J5 is here. I don't know who J5 is. Um, 
I think he will reveal it later on. So okay. hello to you, Katie. Uh, C Cindy with a Y. I'm apologies. She says hello, Katie and Inga. Hello from Cape Town. Inga, I'm glad you listened to Russ. You encouraged me. Thank you. Oh. I like Russ too. Russ is really fantastic. Russ, if you're out there, you're awesome. Yes. So awesome. A thousand thanks to you, Russ. We love you. <laughs> okay, so J5 is Julie. Uh, That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> Once in a blue moon, I get a free moment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you know, and and we can't always be everything to everyone, right, Dan? Um, right. It's, yeah. Julie has a podcast, um, Redwell Automation, I think it is. And I have listened to her, and her voice is like smooth jazz. I'm like, you need to read audiobooks. Her voice is awesome. That's so awesome. just listen to her podcast. Send me the link, please. Okay. Oh, my word. Oh, Katie, one of my favorite <sighs> hymns. Yep. Mine too. I sing it often, especially when I get really down in the dumps about things. I might be doing dishes and I'm just singing. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. Wow. I sing it often. Beautiful. Gail says, I love to see how Katie has grown on social media just by being her wonderful self. Aww. Love you. Oh, yes. Thank you, Gail. Yes. Um, I don't know what I'm doing on social, guys. I listen to whatever these guys tell me. I just <laughs> listen to people, and they say, you should try this. This works well. I've learned this, and I just do what they say. So but that's, that's how we learn. Um, that's the best way to learn, really, because it's – it's coming from someone that you know, right? And that you you know that they know what they're talking about. That's the best way. Um, Julie yeah. says vanity metrics are annoying. I agree. <laughs> and Whitney says follow Katie on Instagram uh -oh. too. Yes. Oh my gosh, Whitney. <laughs> the heat is on. Uh -oh. She goes I guess. live every Monday at 8.30 a.m. AM CST to get everyone set up for the week. Yes. Yeah, I'm like practicing to do a live stream like this every month. I think we're gonna do it. So I'm kind of practicing. So what I did was I started on my on my Instagram. I go live on Monday mornings at 8:30 to plan our week. So we just talk about setting up your week for success, who you're gonna contact, some of the, you know, I, I list some of the top industries. We plan our week, our content all the stuff. So it's more of like a personal passion of mine, the planning community. So yeah, that's what we do on Monday mornings at 830. Um, hold on. I have to do this now. Where uh -oh. is it? Oh, yeah. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> yes, I'm just that's celebrating. So <laughs> yes. I save it for special occasions. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Tim sent it to me. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> I love whenever I watch Tim and he's got hearts just flowing all out of him. Hearts, hearts, hearts. That's why whenever mm. I see him, I say hearts, 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 hearts. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, Megan says there isn't a max for followers, though. Yes. There's oh. a max for connections, but not followers. Um, Good call. Thanks, Megan. <laughs> Whitney says, your face says it all, Katie. 30,000 connections is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Julie says being able to have quality interactions is what matters. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and she says, great job, Katie and Inga. And J5 is me. To I like it. And yes, Radwell Automation Nation. Um, actually, Julie, send it to me. Send it to me so that Thanks, Julie. Awesome. Um, Julie does have a great voice for podcasts and voiceovers. Oh, I need to hear it now. And a personal podcast. Hey, it's Julie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Lovely to see you. Thank you. So, Katie, what are your final thoughts for our, um, our, our audience, our friends that are, are listening? 
Final thoughts. My thoughts are never final. They are <laughs> never ending. They continue on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> but I think just really what I want to say is continue to make relevant and valuable connections and build relationships within your community. Be more strategic on who you are connecting with and who you're following and, you know, and such. But please don't leave out the manufacturing industry. Don't think that manufacturing is dirty and boring and nerdy. It's not, it's all of, well, it's some of that. It is nerdy, but it's fun. It's awesome. It's so cool. There's robots. Who doesn't like robots? I mean, I don't know. The manufacturing industry is bar none, the best industry to be in. So don't leave it out when you are, have the opportunity to connect with people in the manufacturing industry. You don't know who you could help. Yes. And, and one thing that we need to remember is, you know, um, I, I want to look for if I have this quote. But networking is not just connecting people with people. It's connecting people with ideas. It's connecting people with opportunities. And, you know, the other thing is, it's not necessarily about that specific person. It could be about who they know, right? Um and just solving solving problems with one another and putting our heads together because, you know, um, as the English saying goes, two heads are better than one, always. Um, and as we have used this, uh, this hashtag recently, which says better together, right? Mm -hmm. Always better together. Um, so thank you, Katie. And I will say to those of you that are in the manufacturing industry, Katie and I actually, um, in the week, we chatted about um, an idea that I had about, you know, wanting to do um, a LinkedIn masterclass to help people really understand this platform and, and just, you know, start at the very beginning. Um, and so instead of having it on June 15th, I've decided to spread it over three weeks, um, an hour each, and it will be on starting July 13th. And here, please save the date for those of you that are interested, um, July 13th, 20th, and 27th, and we will be uh, doing this at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thank you, Katie, for your help with that. Um, you bet. And helping me see that, you know what, in, especially when it comes to manufacturing, Wednesdays are the best day for these kind of things. So um, appreciate you, Katie. And I'm so glad that I had you as my guest today. I feel super fueled and pumped for the rest of the day. So thank you. Thank you, Inger. I love watching your show every Friday morning. I tell everybody about it. It is the perfect way to start off your Friday, to head into the weekend. Your inspiration is always top notch and it always just hits right where it's supposed to. So, wow. Thank I you. I love it. Thank you. I, that is just, I don't know. I remember when, um, when I met you, when you, you and I connected, and ever since then, just seeing your name pop up on my screen when I'm live, it's, I, I can't tell you what it makes, how it makes me feel. Um, Aww, I love to support you. And I'm glad that I, that my comments help you along. Do you, you still get butterflies when you go into live events? It depends. Uh, probably not for this show, um, just because uh because i've done it so many times i mean today's episode 39 <laughs> you know but um when i do go into other live events yes sometimes i and and that's just it's normal right regardless of how valuable we actually are we as people we we have we do suffer from imposter syndrome everyone does so i hope you see that other people that have been here and watching you are inspired by you too. Aww. So. Thanks, guys. Um, Angela says, yes, collaboration. And Whitney says, cool, looking forward to that, Inger. Awesome. 
Um, and Cindy says, awesome. Can't wait for the masterclass. Yes, Cindy. Thank you. And thank you to everyone. Thank you to you, Katie. Thank you to everyone who's been here and supporting Katie through this. It's been a wonderful episode. And so, Katie, I'm going to send you to the green room. Okay. Um, Bye, everybody. <laughs> Please enjoy the cookies and milk that I put out for you in the meantime. And I the coffee will... is real good. <laughs> I will be um I will be with you shortly as I wrap up. Thank you. Okay. And thank you to you for being here and tuning in. It's a wrap for another show of inspiration from Inga. I really do hope that you glean some um information and just if you haven't, if you haven't learned. If there's only one thing that you've learned today, let it be that networking is not just for some, it's for everyone. And you can definitely learn from the people that are around you. So until next time, be blessed, have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you here next week for another episode of Inspiration from Inga. And if you missed my intro video, I'm going to play it for you right now. Take care. Be blessed, everyone. And see you soon. I hate videos. Now, you may be wondering, if I hate videos, what the heck am I doing here? Thank mm -hmm. you.